Hey guys, how's it going? Tankster here. It feels like it's been a minute since I made a video, so I had the opportunity this morning to uh, throw just one of these car vids like I do once in a while together for you guys. <clears throat> been a been a trying week, so that's kind of why I've not been around. Uh, I made it no secret if you follow me on social media. I, I battle depression bad all the time. I had a real bad bout with that, and then uh, my uh, dad's sister, uh, God love her, she was, I think, 96 or 97, uh, passed away the other day, so that's, you know, been on my mind, and uh, then I had a, a minor fender bender, I guess you'll say, in the car, and that's actually what I'm doing this morning, I'm waiting to go uh, get that looked at and see what we got to do to get it fixed and all that stuff. It's nothing like having your brand new car wrecked already, but <laughs> I mean it's drivable and everything, but it's still a pain in the butt because you got to go through the insurance and getting it worked on and all that. But anyway, I'm trying to get a brighter note today, and I've been a few days late getting my uh, two set video on this past week's Walking Dead. And if you're watching this and you're the handful of people that do watch me then you know uh, that's what you're here for to hear about that so enough about my crazy goofy sometimes horrible life experiences uh but yeah so this past week's walking dead oh my god maybe that's what got me thrown into a, everything being bad to begin with because it was so depre depressing but really great great episode uh you know, mainly uh, just focusing on the fair, and they were all together at the beginning, and King Ezekiel gave that real nice speech and everything, and everybody was having a good time. Duncan, uh, Eugene, and <laughs> eating cotton candy, I guess. I don't know. I doubt they had cotton candy. All. I, I, I couldn't even see what they were eating. But, uh, you know, it all going along good, and and then of course uh alpha showed up in her smooth disguise killed them poor people and took that blonde woman's hair ah oh, said a pity but uh it was crazy though you know when when she come up to you and she was like you know let her know she was there and it set by her in the movie theater i was like i was like holy hell man crazy Crazy woman she is. I mean, just crazy. I'm trying to avoid the sun here. Not that much luck. So, uh, but yeah, man. <clears throat> it was really cool, the whole sequence where uh, Daryl, Carol, and Michonne all got uh, caught in the woods by them. They took out all them walkers, though, that was after them. But, took them to come there with a gun for them to stop them. I mean, it just shows how badass all three of them have ended up being. But, uh, who was the fourth person? It was some, one of the other second tier characters with them. Who was that? If you didn't remember, remind me in the comments. But, uh, yeah, that whole conversation where she took Daryl and showed him the massive horde of walkers. Uh, don't know if that was as big as the one horde they like tried to get rid of a few seasons back and they it was in like a, a quarry or something but it's still a pretty big one so uh, hopefully we'll avoid that and uh, I, I just wish they would have showed how she lured all uh, their pole bit victims for lack of a better term, uh, to uh, kill them. They wouldn't have to necessarily show them how, you know, kill them, but it would have been uh, cool to see how she lured them all away because apparently that's what happens in the comics from what I understand. But, uh, man, oh, man, he couldn't help but feel for him. Uh of course, you know, we found out them highwaymen, they were mostly just Phil characters that they brought in just just to kill off, so they didn't really amount to a fart or a hill of beans if you want a nicer term. But uh, that old Brett Butler, 
wife. She heard her talking about that baby. I knew one of them here, her the old man was going to get it. They put her put her head on a stake. They left the scarf on, didn't they? That was kind of odd, but anyway, uh, I guess guess she's done in the series now. Uh, but then, you know, of course the big ones were, uh, you know, Tara, which, you know, I, I grew to like her character, you know. It'll be interesting to see uh, what they do with who's in charge of uh, Hilltop now, uh, because she was kind of taking that role on since Maggie left. And then, uh, of course, the big reveal was, was Henry. Uh, Carol, I, she's just going to go postal, man. I look for like a Rambo sequence where they show her all gearing up and she cuts her hair off and just goes <laughs> after or something like that. Might not see it right away, but I, I look for that to be uh, the way to go. Of course, he, you know, was the replacement for what the, in the comics. Uh, all the shit spoiler warning too, by the way, but Ezekiel was the one in the comics. So, yeah, pretty much Henry took his place. Who was the, who was the third one? Was a, th a third big one. I'm having a massive brain fart this morning because I got too much on my mind. But you know, just the shock value of seeing her heads on stakes. I was you know, kind of surprised they did it. And it was, I think, it was cool how they at least showed us a little bit in like a flashback of how they had them all together and then they started fighting to try to escape. And uh, you know, the doctor gave his speech because he was the one they left live so they could uh show you know he could he could be the one to tell them you know this is what you do if they mess with them so oh man crazy but yeah let's uh see what happens it's felt like that should have been the last episode but we have uh this coming weeks, where it looks like it looks like winter has come for them too. Uh, so uh, see how that is, man. It's going to be uh, kind of neat because I don't think I've, besides like some really cheap zombie movies, I've never really seen dumb zombie movies where the snow has done well. There's a couple Nazi zombie movies if you watch any other films. I'm a big Romero fan. I like all all those and I've loved them for years. Before the zombie thing really took off, I was into them. But uh, I remember seeing Dawn of the Dead, the original, the 78 version, in the, what we used to have midnight movies at the mall here. And I remember seeing it and just be blown away by the whole concept and thinking, oh, man, that'd be a crazy way for the world to end. Uh, you know, having to, like, basically kill your loved ones, you know. Of course, they're already dead, I guess, technically, but they're attacking you, you know. Just hope that never happens and hope nobody ever figures out a way for that to happen, that's for sure. But anyway, I gave that episode, man, like, massive thumbs up. Five stars, it was really good. Uh, Going to be interesting to see how things play out and, you know, go from there. So, I can't, I can't believe I'm like having a brain fart about who the, who the other big name was that was killed. I'll get off here and be like, oh yeah, it was him, but that's how it is when you're 51 and you've been doing crazy stuff your whole life and your mind's like gone, so. <laughs> so anyway, I'm going to hopefully get this car taken care of here in a minute and uh, at least looked at and get an appointment and all that good stuff. And... Uh, might do some hunting today. The boy gets off a little early, so. I'm hearing rumors of uh, some figures at the Dollar Tree from 3.75, so. Might check that out, so. So, if you guys like what we do, uh, we'll tr I'm going to try to have another video of Hunter and I this weekend. we got tons of new stuff to show you. But he has been busy with his production of Into the Woods. He's starring in. 
one of the lead roles. So he's been busy with that. And every evening he's just like at rehearsals and stuff. So it's been hard to like film anything. But I'm going to try to maybe Saturday or uh, get a video together. So at least uh, showing a haul video showing you guys what all we've got. Uh, besides that, give us a like and a love and a subscribe if you haven't. And if you're here already, thank you. And if you have already, thank you. So, sign off all. As always, do some act of kindness this week. Somebody help make a difference in the world. This takes one little thing, and you can make a difference. You know, we're all here for each other. That's what it's about. So for more Oil Ring Wars and Tanks Two Cents, Brad the Tank Downey. You guys have a good one. Have a good weekend coming up. See you later.